Hi everyone, welcome to Mitchling King on YouTube. So, let's take a look. We're coming into winter. Um, not that you'd know it with this lovely weather that we've been blessed with. We've had really high winds, a couple of storms hit Scotland recently. And this morning, as you can hear, it's absolutely wonderful. The birds are chirping. We've got nice sun, um, nice dry air as well. That dampness in the air is really cleared out and this makes perfect detailing weather. It's not too warm where the paint won't be too hot to the touch, but um, it's, it's heating the paint up to a point where it will actually help us with our detailing. So I've lined up a few products here that we're going to be trialing today. The first one is of course our brand new winter wax. So that wax is called Polar. Polar is essentially a Winter 23 car wax. It's got great longevity. It will easily take you through the winter. Got a multitude of different waxes in here. It's a relatively high wax content. It's got a decent amount of T1 carnauba wax, but you've also got other waxes in there. It helps to bolster and increase the gloss and the wetness on the paint as well. It's a phenomenally easy wax to use. Um, it's right at the very beginning of the Michelin King range so with that you can be reassured that not only is it high quality it's easy on the wallet as well now in terms of looks you've obviously got the slightly different labeling the special edition labeling that we offer and then also we've got an electric blue color for this batch they are all numbered and signed as you can see this batch it's a vanilla fragrance. We will change the fragrances as and when we, we make new batches. It's a limited edition of 50 waxes now. It's selling really, really well. The 50 is probably not going to be enough. However, this is what we've committed to. So 50 is all um, that's available in the 200 mil. So there are a few steps that you need to do before you wax the paint. The first up, and we'll just get right into it in a minute, the first up would be a pre-wax cleaner. So it's just essentially a paint cleaner, takes all of the old waxes and sealants off, removes things like tree sap and maybe stubborn tar deposits, organic fallout mainly, um, so stuff that comes from the earth. So it'll remove that quite easily. The next thing you want to do is you want to bolster the protection. The weather system in Scotland, especially on the west coast, it's very, very wet. So not only am I going to put a wax on here, I'm going to put a sealant underneath just to give the paint a, a good platform to add the wax onto, plus to increase the, um, the protection on the paint to increase the longevity overall. There's a couple other products that we'll use in between. So we've got our quick detailing spray. We'll use that to apply the wax, remove it. You can also use that as a top up spray. But the one I tend to reach for the most, sorry, we've got a very busy bird um, in one of the trees in there jumping about the place. Easily distracted. Um, so another product that I reach for all the time coming into autumn and winter would be Wax Plus. So Wax Plus is a necessity for me in terms of the upkeep of the paint, especially if I don't have the time or the, the weather isn't in my favour. So with Wax Plus it will give you about six months of one application. It's a silicon dioxide spray but it's reverse, what we call reverse compatible with the waxes. So actually is fully compatible with the Canuba waxes. Because it's a no, not an all-out glass ceramic, you've still got silicon dioxide as is, um, is a really nice, easy to use product, which is why, again, this is probably why it's so popular in the winter, because if it's cold, you don't really want to spend too much time out on the car unless you're really wrapped up or you've got the luxury of a garage. Um, but as you can see, we've got a lovely day today so we can spend a bit of time on the paint. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with the pure. We'll bring the camera around and you can see exactly how to apply it. Now 
Right guys, so we're going to start off with pure. It's a pre-wax cleaner or a paint cleaner. And all we're going to do, make sure you give it a good shake before you use it. Open it and then just, obviously it's a small area of the car that we're focusing on. So we just need a small amount of product. If you're wanting to see the likes of what we put on our Instagram and Facebook and such like, use a white pad and then you'll really see what this um, what this product is capable of removing. Application's very easy. We're just going to dab it across the paint so that we're picking up new product as we go. Straight lines simply because you don't want to add any swirls. Swirls are circular. Um, straight lines straight line scratches are referred to as reds, random, isolate, isolated deep scratches whereas swirls are typically um, they were historically from machines but the lines have been kind of blurred so cobwebs were typically from the wash um, the wash stage and then you also had a thing called wash marring which was again from the wash stage but wash marins typically straight lines but multiple straight lines together so it just gives you a bit of a rundown with the technical jargon so to speak that you'll hear um, online and maybe see on the websites and stuff like that again we've got a really as I've said lovely day today so this product's curing really really well all we're going to do now um, typically what I'd do if I'm if I'm polishing the whole car is I'd apply pure to the whole car. As you can see we're not putting that much on. Um, it, it doesn't really just the, the pure that touches the paint is the only stuff so to speak that's doing the work. So you don't need to over apply it, don't need to lay it on too thick. Um, if I'm applying the whole car then that's what I'll do, I'll go around the whole car and then come back because it's it's really easy to remove doesn't take a lot of elbow grease and um, it doesn't dust up and things like that it's just a really nice easy product to use so we'll just buff it off now and as you can see it's extremely easy to remove just make sure that you get all of it I mean even here I've went into some of the panel gaps and you can't go on other days with, me, with um, high dust products. Obviously they are still available from other avenues um, but we've totally eradicated that because it's, it's just unnecessary really. Um, much better ingredients and obviously the science behind it things are getting better and better. Now, I always say the same thing, but the gloss this adds to the paint is incredible. So essentially what's happening here is, you've essentially put a primer down as well, so it does leave some, um, some slight protection, and it does leave a barrier on top of the paint, so it'll even it out, it'll fill light scratches, and well, really what we're calling wash, uh, wash marring. It'll fill that very lightly. It's not a it's not designed to do that, it's just a side effect of, of some of the ingredients. And once it's buffed off, you can go straight to your sealant. Some people ask, do you need to use a panel wipe? I would only use a panel wipe if I'm going to apply a ceramic coating. So we'll just jump right on to our next product, which is Guard. It's a good camera angle, you can see exactly what we're doing and again, how easy it is. And for this, we'll use, on this occasion we'll use a white microfiber pad. So what I do before I use the pads, I just inspect them. There you go. Because these are new, you'll sometimes get some ooze or whatever. Um, just inspect it to make sure everything's off. Give your bottle a good shake so that it's ready to go. And then same process, we're just going to put on a Zorro and just close the lid over it, wipe the excess off, that's it ready to go. 
one of the things I do like about this is the elastic on the back. It does just add in some extra security. Slightly different feel with the guard. So guard is a high gloss winter sealant or a high gloss durable sealant. So if you've got a daily driver um, and you need a lot of protection on it, then I would always recommend guard. And again, you're just straight lines for this. Um, no circular motions, just again because you don't want to instill any type of uh, swirls. One of the things I would say is, yes you can still obviously damage the paint when you apply in straight lines if you pick up contamination. However, straight lines are typically a lot easier to machine out because the direction of the machine is against constantly against the grain, so to speak. So you're always leveling that straight line out. So it's, in my opinion, it's a lot easier to rectify straight line scratches than it is circular. Um, just simply because the circular is in motion with with the the machine. But again, it's that's not an exact science. It's just experience more than anything else. So you might find different. So again. Nice and easy to apply. You do want to, because guard is a sealant, you do want to leave it for about five minutes to cure, um, just so that it's fully cured and it's adhered onto the paint, and then we can move on to the wax. So let's set that up. We'll change the camera angle and give you a slightly different look when we're removing this. Right, guys, so due to the, again, beautiful weather that we're having today, this is now ready to remove. The sun is actually right there, so excuse me if I'm squinting a bit into the camera. But all we're going to do is the the last application was up and down, so we are just going to break that line by going across. This is so easy to remove. It's just one of the easiest last step products that we have ever used. The same as Titan. They're so similar in usage. And it's why they're so popular, because they, the effect that they give, the durability and the protection is absolutely phenomenal, considering they're so easy to apply. Plus, the finish on this, the level of gloss that we've now got on this bonnet is nothing short of incredible. And we're only going to add to that now. Um, you, could, you could, if you want, add another layer of guard because it's so fast it, personally I would especially in weather like this it will only take we could probably whip around the car in about five to ten minutes and then another as you say if you start at the front wing and you go um well you could go clockwise or counterclockwise whatever it is for you that's best by the time you come back to the front wing, it'll be ready to remove, so there, there won't be any waiting time, so to speak, which is why it's typically always easier and better to apply it to the whole car rather than sections at a time. So there we go, nice and easy to remove. Let's get on to the wax. Now, seeing as this is a brand new jar of wax, we're going to go with a brand new applicator. So I'll just come close into the camera and show you how much wax to put on. So as you can see, I'll let the camera focus in there, then we're just going to take our pad. It's a high wax content wax as I've said but it's really easy to get it onto the applicator. As you can see that's it on straight away, no issues at all, um, extremely as you can see, extremely easy on the pad. So, what we'll do is I've put it on both sides here just to show you what it might look like on the over application and how easy it is to remedy that. Obviously there's an area in the middle and we'll get to that in a minute. So. We're just dabbing this on, again, we'll put more on, lots and lots of wax. So this is how it could go if it's over applied. And just to show you how easy it is to remedy this. 
again, this is a question that a lot of people that maybe use spray sealants or haven't waxed their car before will ask, you know, oh, I remember my dad or my grandfather, my uncle or whatever, you know, there was loads of elbow grease to try and get the wax off and this shows you it spreads on really thin. Um, it's a very, very easy wax to use. Most important thing is to use a high quality applicator. Don't use the yellow ones that you get on eBay or Amazon. They're absolute junk unless you're getting them from reputable companies. The foam is too thin. It's, it's just not safe enough. Um, they're okay for things like tire dressing or plastic dressing, but don't use them on your paint. I know that people do and they will um, because the price is very keen but get yourself some decent applicator pads because they really do make a difference and at the end of the day you've probably spent a long time preparing the paint so the last thing you want to do is you know, use a pad that's 10 pence or 20 pence um, and it actually spoils the finish so there isn't a, a shortcut to it so as you can see, I've put lots and lots of wax on here, um, way more than you would need. So the, the beauty of Polar is it's quite a fast curing wax, especially with, again, the weather we've got today. Um, you can probably start removing this straight away. It will cure within about, fully cure within 15 minutes and it's just as easy to remove at the beginning as it is at the end. We've put in some nice natural ingredients into Polar as well. So again, they'll help to boost the, the ease of um, application and removal. So we'll do the swipe test. Let's see where we are. It's just about there. Um, the natural waxes are slightly different. You won't always get that clean line with them simply because you're dealing with a lot of natural ingredients you've got um, a variety of special ingredients in there so it's a slightly different setup so let's just buff this off nice and easy again what we'll do is we'll apply another layer as well because ideally with your winter wax you want to apply two layers and the second layer obviously will show you um, exactly how I apply the wax so as you can see all I'm doing is I'm breaking through that first layer because essentially there's too much wax on the car. All we're doing is just taking that top layer off and that's it. That's as easy as it is um, to remove anything that's over applied. Now what you want to do, and it goes against possibly conventional thinking, is you now want to give this another few minutes to cure because what we've done there is we've taken off the excess the stuff that's that's essentially never going to cure onto the paint and now what we've done is we've taken it back to what it should be so a very thin layer of wax on the paint and what it means is thinner layers allow you to build additional so to to apply the wax again faster so the thinner the layer the faster it is to cure and the faster you can then start building up your multiple layers. And there's nothing to stop you that after the first time you wash the car, if you've got time, you might fancy applying another layer of wax and you can just go straight ahead. You don't need to use pure or guard, you can just go straight ahead with polar. So I can see, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but I can see now that this wax, the layer that was underneath essentially the layer that we broke off um, is now ready to remove. The finish on this wax is just, it's like a swimming pool. It's absolutely soaking wet. What we'll do is we'll bring the camera off the tripod to let you see this and then we'll go on with the second layer. And I'll just leave this cloth. Because it's a nice warm day, we'll just leave the cloth in the sun there and um, just to help it dry off slightly as well. Absolutely incredible. Right guys, look at the shine on this. So obviously we've used pure guard and polar. Now guard does bring a lot of gloss, but the finish from polar is just second to none. It's exactly what we're saying. It's, it's giving you that extremely high gloss, wet look finish. 
but you've got the protection of the winter. I'd have no issue using this in the summer at all. Especially we will still sometimes in Scotland get quite wet summers. Um, just look at the wetness. It's just incredible. Right, let's crack on and get a second layer on. Because we applied so much wax to the applicator, there isn't any reason to actually put more wax onto the pad. So all we're going to do, there's still plenty of wax on here, is we're just going to reuse this. It's not cured onto the pad yet. I left the pad, I should have said, I purposely left the pad um, in the sun so that it doesn't cure too quickly. It's still nice and soft and there's, there's essentially no cured wax on the pad. Now all we're going to do is we've applied it by dabbing it on. You don't need to do as many dabs. Um, probably as you, you chat away on the videos you, you lose track of time sometimes. So. You just need to apply a few, maybe three to four per line and then put the pad flat down on the paint like this and then all you're going to do is just like you're spreading the toast in the morning or your butt, your bread, whatever it is um, and you're just going to apply the wax that way. Just make sure it's straight lines, no circular movements and again so I normally go east and west, north and south, just to get a nice, even application. And when I remove the wax, the most important thing is remove it in the opposite direction of when you of how you applied it. So, for instance, the last application I'm going to do is left and right, or from the camera's point of view, up and down. And as you can see, I actually split the bonnet, even something this small, I'll split it into two sections simply because if I'm to drag this, it's actually not too bad. If I have to drag it down, you miss this area here if you don't go really slowly. Yeah, even if I do that. So it's the application of up and down will actually get into just that slight bend in the panel there. Okay, so that's now ready for the washing machine. These are all reusable, so just wash them, dry them out naturally, essentially, so that the air can get to the bottom and the top. And what we'll do is we'll leave this for the full time, probably about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, we'll update you because it is warmer today, so it might actually cure faster. Or the other thing that can happen if it's warmer, especially with the ingredients that we've got in Polar, is it, it can soften the wax so it can take slightly longer which is beneficial because it feeds the paint and it gives you a better finish so the best waxes in my opinion certainly within our range are the ones that take the longest to cure simply because they're on the paint for a longer period of time they feed the paint more and there's more wax cured onto the paint um, just simply because you've got hardening you get hard ingredients that harden rather than flash off, so that's a, a wee tip bit of information. So let's see what it's like after 15 minutes, and then we'll come back to it. Right guys, so we've let this sit for quite a while. Um, as I said, the longer you can, really the better. I've ended up leaving this for probably about an hour and a half, which is way over what, what you need to. Um, so let's just remove it. It's really really easy to remove just simply because it's a nice easy wax and as I said earlier in the video it, if you can leave the wax for longer it really does make a massive difference to the finish just simply because the wax is getting a longer time to cure on, on the paint and it leaves a, a nicer finish it also lasts longer, that's the bigger thing to keep in mind that it lasts longer on the paint because again it's getting longer to actually adhere onto the paint. This is just incredible this part. And for the what you're paying for it, it's just night and day. Right. 
let's do some hydrophobic tests. So let's get the, the water on it and see how it reacts. I'm thinking it'll do really well because it's very, very slick. I can feel it under the microfiber. It's really, really nice to remove. So let's go. Let's see what it's like. Right guys, so we've let this sit for quite a while. Um, as I said, the longer you can, really the better. I've ended up leaving this for probably about an hour and a half, which is way over what, what you need to. Um, so let's just remove it. It's really, really easy to remove just simply because it's a nice easy wax. And as I said earlier in the video, it, if you can leave the wax for longer, it really does make a massive difference to the finish just simply because the wax is getting a longer time to cure on, on the paint and it leaves a, a nicer finish it also lasts longer, that's the bigger thing to keep in mind that it lasts longer on the paint because again it's getting longer to actually adhere onto the paint this is just incredible this wax and for the what you're paying for it, it's just night and day right let's do some hydrophobic tests so let's get the, the water on it and see how it reacts I'm thinking it'll do really well because it's very very slick I can feel it under the microfiber it's really really nice to remove so let's go let's see what it's like I couldn't help myself to have a wee quick first test so as you can see the vegan is absolutely out of this world the Super, super slick. Just, I don't know if it's catching that on the, the side here, but the water's having a really difficult time just actually clinging on to the paint. I bear in mind it's not hybrid, it's not SIO2, it's not graphene, it's just a very high quality car wax, and that's the difference. That's really nice. Well, so there's a live test for you, there's a leaf right off the paint straight away let's see if there's the other modes on this it's quite heavy rainfall if you look at the beacon wow The hose was stuck on. <laughs> That's absolutely immense. If you thought the, the beading on honey was impressive, polar is another step up. And look at how clean that paint is, how dry it is. There's no water. The minute that rinse is off, it's completely dry. Oh, I think this might be my new winter wax. Yeah, I'm very impressed with that. Right, let's get another camera in. Hopefully you can see just how impressive it is. Especially if you watch this area here. Again, for the price point, the performance is really impressive. So not only obviously have you got the great protection, you've also got the looks as well with this wax. Again, we'll just bring you further round. Let's see if we can get one final close-up just to let you see the effect on the bonnet. So that's what we're referring to, just this here. And when that floods off, it's just crazy. 